One year from tomorrow, people in the Midlands will see a very rare sight from the stars. I was so excited when Aaron told us about this. You and I were together for the last eclipse. It turns out there's going to be another one. Not exactly as impressive as the last. So let's check in with our resident expert, News 19 meteorologist Aaron Walker. So, uh, all eyes are now on 2024. It's being called the uh, Great American Solar Eclipse Part 2, I guess. On April 8th, 2024, a total solar eclipse will be visible across North America, making it the first total solar eclipse since August 2017. David Dixon is the public relations manager at South Carolina State Museum and also a meteorologist. The path of totality will stretch across 12 states, including parts of Texas, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, New York, Vermont, and Maine. Dixon explained, since the totality path does not stretch across the Midlands this time, instead we'll see a partial solar eclipse. It's around 75% of the sun is going to be covered, so it's a partial solar eclipse for us in Columbia, which is pretty astounding, but it's not as astounding as what we saw all those years back. Safety will still be crucial when viewing next year's eclipse, as looking directly at the sun can damage your eyesight. Now, the question is, can you use those same uh, eclipse glasses that you used back in 2017. NASA says that it is perfectly okay if they are not damaged, they are not scratched, they're not punctured, uh, but others say that it's best to uh, take a new one in after three years or so. So we would just say, go ahead and buy some new ones anyway. Meteorologists and other researchers can gain valuable information from a solar eclipse. For example, the cooling of the atmosphere during a solar eclipse can cause temperature drops of several degrees allowing researchers to study how the atmosphere responds to sudden changes in energy input. In downtown Columbia, for News 19, I'm meteorologist Aaron Walker.